Where is my list? My survival list. We are going to need it. <laughs> it is a survival list <laughs> that I am making right now because Rogier and I, we are going on a very big adventure and we are leaving in three days. Where to, you might ask? Well, we decided to go wild camping in Sweden, in the snow, in a teepee, with a wood stove. Yep. <laughs> we came back from Switzerland a bit unsatisfied when it came to hiking, snow and beautiful nature. I know it seemed like we had a lot of it, but the majority of the time we were just way too busy to really enjoy it because we had to build this kitchen. And even though I filmed a lot of beautiful footage, to us it all felt a bit rushed. It just felt like there wasn't enough time to soak it all up. And then we came back over here in the Netherlands and it just has been raining. It has been raining and raining and raining and it just... It doesn't feel right, you guys. So we decided that we are going to embark on this adventure and we are going to leave on Thursday. Today it is Monday. It is still Christmas because it is the 26th of December. So happy Christmas, everyone. <laughs> I know that this video is a, a tiny bit late, but in my defense, I had a lot to do. <laughs> so yeah. Right now we are trying to figure out all of the things that we need to bring besides obviously the teepee and the wood stove. I think celebrating New Year's Eve somewhere in the middle of nowhere in Scandinavia is one of my biggest dreams actually. I have been to Sweden before and it is probably my favorite country I've ever been to because it is so beautiful and it is so peaceful, wild and beautiful and amazing and I can't wait to go there and I can't wait to start the new year in all of this, in the middle of this incredible adventure. I feel so blessed. I feel so blessed. It's does mean that I am going to take a little bit of a YouTube break because even though I'm going to film all kinds of things, I can't upload or edit anything because we are not going to have internet. We are going to be completely off the grid. So yeah, that means that this is going to be the last video of 2022. And I do not only want to take this time to say a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year, but I also want to take this time to say thank you. Thank you to all of you for supporting me in this last year. I'm so thankful for all of the comments, the sweet comments that some of you wrote underneath every single video that I made. And I just want to say that I appreciate it so much. And I am so excited also about the new year to come. I am overflowing with so many creative ideas. There are so many nice projects that I want to film and create. And yeah, I am over the moon with all of the things that I have plans for. I am of course over the moon with this whole trip to Sweden. So this is just a very short little video with me just sharing all of these things. I also do think that it would be nice to show you around a little bit over here because there are a lot of things that you haven't seen yet. This year we decided on having a thrifted Christmas tree. We had this tree, we had no time and we had nothing to put in it. So Rogier and Nikki and I, we decided to go to the thrift store and we bought every single little thing that was white and that looked kind of decent. I was worried about this tree. I was thinking it is going to look horrible because normally I would never buy all of these things. But honestly, you guys, it turned out really, really nice. <laughs> Over here we have 
Joseph and Mary and little baby Jesus. Up here we have the three kings. A lot of candles, of course. The Christmas angel, it's very hard to see because it is too bright for my camera. My camera can't cope <laughs> with the brightness of these little lights. Over here it's easier. This angel also has lights, but it's very subtle. <laughs> there are even lights in the lantern. You can't see it, I think, on the camera, but it is in there. <laughs> When it is dark outside, you can see it. This is also something that I found in a thrift store. It is another little thing that I would usually never buy. But when I saw it, I thought, you know, it fits in really nicely with the white snowy theme that I want to stick to. And it was only one euro and 25 cents. And now that it is hanging there, I love it. And then over here, I just added these tiny little sheep and a Christmas angel. It's over there. The dining table is very simply decorated with just a really beautiful candle holder, some nice green candles. And this is another thrift store find that I also bought on the same day as all of the Christmas tree decorations. These are edible wild chestnuts. And I was thinking, because they are still here, maybe we should bring this to Sweden because I think it would be really nice to make a campfire and then to cook these in the ashes and then to eat it. Rogier already started a little survival pile over here with all kinds of things that we are definitely going to need for chopping wood and I don't know, all kinds of <laughs> bear attacks. I don't know. The snowflake, Rogier hates it. <laughs> but I think it is actually quite nice. It is very 90s, but I still like it. And it is just, you know, last minute Christmas decor. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's fine. <laughs> Creating something like this, this bowl with these little owls in it, is something that I do for Rogier because he loves little setups like these and he adored these little owls this is not something that i would create in my home but i do really like it because for me it is a way to express creativity that i would normally not do anything with so i think i'm very blessed with having a boyfriend that is very excited about all kinds of things like these because it means that I can go completely wild when I decorate in here. And it is just something that I would normally never do. Over here on the cabinet, I also created a tiny little area with a shepherd and another sheep and a little bit more fake snow and a bit more of the forest theme with some pine cones and some moss. I think the last little thing that I need to show you is over here on top of the ladder that we have above the dining table. There are actually also little lights up there, but I think we need to replace the batteries because you can't really see it anymore. But it looked really nice when we had dinner over here. I also have a couple more of these paper decorations that I actually did buy new, but they had 50% off. It was the day before Christmas Eve and the white ones that were also in the box I used in the Christmas tree. This is all of the Christmas decor for this year. It's not a whole lot. I really think that I need to practice my fire making skills before we leave because this is not going to cut it. So I guess that this is it for 2022. I am going to disappear off the grid, <laughs> but I will be back with at least one, but probably a couple of videos about our camping experiment in the snow. And after that, there are so many fun projects, you guys. I am looking forward to 2023. So yeah, for now, I just want to say thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed all of these Vlogmas videos and I really hope to see you very soon. I have no idea when, but somewhere in the new year. If I never upload another YouTube video again, just know 
that I probably froze to death in a teepee or I was eaten alive by a bear, but I probably also died extremely happy and feeling terribly cold. <laughs>